What's going on all my Ahsoka Tano Star Wars fans? So just finished watching Ahsoka episode five. So good, absolute perfection. No complaints whatsoever. Seeing Hayden Christensen come back again and play Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader was so perfect. They de-aged him perfectly. I know the last episode he looked a little weird and a lot of people were complaining about that, but I think they were just messing with us because they knew how perfect he was gonna look in the next episode. He looked amazing. Seeing her and him in the world between worlds was top tier Star Wars. This is like Star Wars that I've been waiting for and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for this too. We got live action Clone Wars scenes. We got Anakin versus Soka. We got Darth Vader versus Soka. We got Jason feeling the force around him, feeling and hearing Ahsoka calling for help, not really calling for help, but hearing them in the world between worlds while she was drowning was so sick. This episode was top, top tier Star Wars. Dave Filoni is the GOAT, man, and it just blew my mind. I had to watch it again. I watched it one time. Then I watched it again with headphones because when you watch it with headphones and subtitles, there's a lot. Like, I mean, there's a lot that little moments that point out that you actually open your eyes and be like, oh my God. So sick to see those flashing moments between Anakin and Vader and Anakin and Vader again. Like there's this one part where he's like, dunk, 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 stomping really hard on the world between world floors and you just see it flash into Vader. So sick with the red lightsaber, just perfect. And I'm so happy, so happy to be a Star Wars fan, especially today. I could see why they put this episode in the movie theaters. Select theaters are playing episode five. Uh, IMAX, I believe in New York and LA and a couple of other states as well. All the training that Anakin was doing, Anakin slash Darth Vader was doing with her in the world between worlds, made her greater to become Ahsoka the White. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but made her more mature and I think it was giving her like more ideas about how to train Sabine properly and not to make the same mistakes that Anakin did as well. She's starting to realize that. You should watch it twice like I did too, start noticing little things. She's fighting Anakin, Darth, actually I should say Darth Vader at one point and she gets closer to him, you know, with the red lightsaber and her eyes get all Sith-like, like Anakin's eyes are, there's just, so many little details and you know like the part when he's he's doing this to her with the lightsaber is kind of like the same thing that he did to obi-wan when they're fighting a revenge of the sith there's so many little little details all over the place and i could see why this episode ended up in theaters because it was just perfect and of course the purgle scene at the end with her and hu yang going into the purgles so they could warp speed into a different galaxy was also amazing as well he says to her do you know where you're going? And she goes, nope, not really, but we're gonna go anyway, we're gonna take a chance. And it's like taking chances in life, you gotta just do things right. And I have a big feeling, a great feeling about it, not a bad feeling about this, but a good feeling about it, that they're gonna find Ezra. And I believe probably towards the end, they're gonna, they're gonna find Grand Admiral Thrawn and it's probably gonna end the series and we're gonna get a season two. And I think it's gonna be epic. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to give me a like and subscribe, I appreciate that too. Drop a comment below. Until next time, may the force be with you and peace out.